Hey there, it's Sandro here and welcome back to another very exciting tutorial. Today I have something truly remarkable to share with you. We'll be taking an in-depth look at one-click motion tool. This script is truly game-changing tool that will make your animations way smoother and faster. Well, and trust me, it will become part of your toolkit. But before we get into that, make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome content like this. Okay, let's jump right into it. First, what we need to do is to download the script, which is free. You can find the link in the description below. Once we come here, we're going to click I want this, and then we're going to click get. Once you have the files, just copy the script file into your script UI, which is also here. Copy this if you're a Windows user and just paste it here. And I'm just going to simply drag and drop. I already have the script, so I'm just going to replace it. Let's fire up Adobe After Effects. And once we're here, we're just going to click Window and then enable one-click motion. And this is how one-click motion looks like. It's pretty small, but how to say, don't judge it by its size. I'm going to click and drag this right here. You can pretty much keep it as a window as well, and you can place it somewhere else. Let's take a look at first example, which is very simple logo reveal. And as you can see, we have linear keyframes. And if I will select all of them and I'll press go and go, it's done. It comes incredibly handy for jump cuts as well. As you can see in this example, it just basically gives me an ability to set both of these values at 100 and give all of these layers the same influence. A very simple jump cut representation would be if we will take a sphere, control alt home, set your anchor point in the center of the shape layer. Now let's set two keyframes one for this position and one for somewhere second and 10 frame probably so as you can see we have our motion here i'm going to select both of those keyframes and this time around i'm going to go 100 by 100. if you will check the graph editor you're going to notice that our curve looks like this at this particular point it has its highest speed and that's where we're going to cut it. And now I'm going to create another shape layer, which is going to be cube. And I'm going to place it right where my sphere is. Control Alt Home so that our anchor point is there. Let's set the first keyframe and the last keyframe so that it follows the sphere. We're going to select both of those keyframes and press go and go from one click motion. So we're going to cut it here and let's delete the other half. And we can also delete the sphere from the beginning so that we have this. Using the same technique, so we have all these spheres wiggling around. I know this might be slightly overwhelming. And then they're going to the center, easily transforming into this. Take a look at this example where we have five spheres with identical keyframes. Let's select all of them and press go and go. Now I'm going to go ahead and select all the keyframes for shape layer number one and probably decrease easing out amount to 40. And you're instantly going to notice that this guy starts to behave differently. He became slightly slower. Shape layer two, we can go like 46. Third one, 52. And the fourth line of keyframes can go for 58. And the last one for 64 basically just saves you time to manually adjust and find those perfect proportional values between your keyframes. Here's another example, and I'm going to quickly solo all of those layers. Let's select all of the keyframes and control click them so that they become linear. And this is what we have. I'm going to adjust this to 58 and 98. Pretty much the same technique is used everywhere, except those guys, because you need to manually animate to mimic the gravity. I wanted to come up with something that can first easily be integrated in After Effects workspace and also a little primitive to use. 
And it pretty much replaced many of the motion plugins because I realized that I don't really need that much. I just need something to quickly control the keyframes, especially when there are a lot. So the script definitely saves a huge amount of time for me. And I want you to take a look one of the paid plugins that it replaced for me. And this plugin is Flow, which is actually a very good plugin. It's just very uncomfortable in terms of like its size. Of course, it's like adjustable, but I still have to deal with this curve and I kind of don't like it. That's why I prefer more slider or value, because if I want to adjust the curve, I can just go here and adjust that. And the fact that you can just play and control what you're doing and what each value is changing is very, very easy for me. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that subscribe button and make sure to stick around because next one is a vibrator generator. And I know it sounds funny. It's inspired from Cinema 4D's vibrator tag. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.